Oh my goodness me. Oh wow. And Evans doesn't move and he's been hit. Track, yeah, it's another short. crash, it's, it's a Jaguar. Jaguar. He comes through turn 19. Heidfeld's closing in as they come towards the final corner at turn 20. Is Heidfeld going to fancy a look into the last closing. corner of the race? Heidfeld goes to the inside line oh. and they make contact and they're both off. And that's an accident for Nick Heidfeld. He has gone off the circuit. The two of them come together in the final corner, which means Lucas Degrassi is going to take victory in the FIA Formula E race here in Beijing. It's a fantastic to see Nick Heidfeld climbing out. Not really the test we wanted, and I think we might have a bit of a uh, conversation here between these two. And so a dramatic end to the Formula E race here in Beijing. Here we go, this is on board coming down towards the final corner. Heidfeld goes to the inside, and I mean, yeah, I mean that's a... Uh, yeah, that's a pop. Pressure, here comes Heidfeld, not close enough into six to get the move into the stadium section. A bit of a naughty little uh, weave there to, to keep him back. And here comes Nico Prost, he hits him. Oh. Round goes Heidfeld, pirouetting in the stadium oh, no. and then a shunt, and the two teammates hit each other. Mitch Evans is caught up in all of that as well. They all get going, that's going to be a safety car, yes, and that be. could clinch the race for Lucas Degrassi. Yeah, he just clipped him. You see him there up ahead, two cars. He just clipped him, spun. These guys have got nowhere to go, and there's the result. So, yeah, Nico Prost did cause that collision. It wasn't malicious, I don't think, but... And then you see the two Mahindras hit each other. He's racing those big singles. Well, 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 well. And that wow. is a bit of a confusion under yellow flags. With only two and a half minutes left to go, Rose and Chris will play no further part in the session. And actually, I think this will be a time for the race director to red flag it because no one's going to get a lap in. So what happens here? This is Oliver Turvey slowing up, slowing up heavily. He's not even looked in his mirrors. He's looking around the corner because there's a car stopped in front of him. And Rosenquist fully committed, fully locked up. Nowhere to go. He's blocking on the inside, Nelson. Whoa, and, and Van's going to get him this time. This he's dump. got the overlap. He's got the overlap. He's going to force the issue. Oh. PK's still there. Van oh. is vanished. Through, he's going to go Heidfeld. Oh. And Heidfeld saw that all happen in front of him. PK's damaged. Van's in the barriers. And we are going to have a safety car. He used me to turn. Uh, totally uh, run into me in the middle of the corner. And then didn't leave me any room on the outside. And uh, he had plenty of room on the right. And he just... Yeah, completely pushed me into the wall. So, very, very, very unfair driving from him. Grassi's very close now to Antonio Felix da Costa. Close enough for a move. Da Costa covers the inside line. Oh, he's going for around the outside. That's never going to work. And they're both in the wall. Da Costa off. Da Grassi off. And that is a disaster for the championship contender. Yeah, he's going the long way around, which is always going to be a tough call. Then he's going into a right-hander. He's actually made the move, but at the same time, he hasn't quite given up the fact that the Costa was letting him get away with it. Now, what's Buemi up to? Personal bests in the first two sectors, but about three tenths down in total on his teammates, oh, and he's oh, in the wall! Oh, Sebastian wow. Buemi, championship leader, out of the second free practice session. That's a big one for Buemi, coming through the bus stop chicane. And the red flag, understandably, is deployed. So that is effectively going to be the end of this second free practice session. We're not going to get this tidied up in eight minutes. Buemi jumping out of the car reasonably happily. He hit that. Uh, he hit that first apex, the left hander. You'll see it here. Look, he Looking hits at that. The right, knocks yeah. it off oh, and yeah. straight in that. And that tech throw barrier. Thank God it was there. Oh! oh wow! Got airborne. When you've got airborne like that, you have no brakes. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Vern came across to cover wow. it. Wow, that's a big hit of sight slap as well. That really can damage the bones and the pelvis. And let's see how relate the defense is from John Ernst. Look at him looking in his mirror, and he just keeps coming across. And there's the contact. That was oh, yeah. pointed out pre-race. Yeah, there's. And there's Sims getting hit. Down towards turn eight. Everyone just getting a little bit spread out on the penultimate lap. Whoa, that's not true. Bam! Degrassi sent spinning. Reins was hit into him by Boemi. Man, what the f was that? That was Boemi, mate. Yeah, that was Boemi. A ridiculous move. 
here, listen, there's a drive shaft failure, it sounds like, on Lucas Degrassi's car because the left rear is, is, is disconnected from the rest of the car. Degrassi's not going anywhere. Fries has been shunted down the order. Boemi surely will end up with some kind of penalty from that, from what we saw. <laughs> and off is Bird. Sam Bird, maybe Van Dorn. Oh, Da Costa's Sims. off. I got taken out. I've just got taken out. Bird's out of shape. And then look out, here comes Roland. Bam! Oh, in the wall. Back wheels off the ground. We've got two. We've got oh. Lynn and we've got Bird taking evasive action. It's Lynn and Mortara. Here's another look at it. And this is Alex Lynn. In he goes. Oof. I'm out of the race. Mortara just smashed into me. Jean-Eric Vern! There's chaos at turn one! No. And Jean-Eric Vern will not score any points! Diaz to Cheetah can't believe what they're seeing! Formula E can't believe what it's seeing! Let's see what happened. So Vern goes for it on Massa. He's up alongside. Well, he's wheel to wheel, they bang. Oh, and Vern, oh, and then they... Oh, here we go. Here we go, this is the next bit. The critical bit is where that orange part of the wall is. Oh, Felipe. Oh. Felipe, what are you doing? Felipe, baby. Oh! oh! Felipe was lucky, thank goodness for the halo. And D'Ambrosio just powered on through. Millimeters from disaster. That was, I think that's one of my favorite overtakes in Formula E, and Sam Bird goes to the inside, Lim puts him in the wall. The two go backwards, and they're both going to be pretty much out of the race. That might be our first safety car. Did you see that? Did you see him defending? Just drove me into the wall. And they're both going to be pretty annoyed at each other, but I think Lin closed the door, to be perfectly honest with you. Lin covers the inside, Bird dummies him, and then... For, for, uh, yeah. Near the end of the race, uh, I'd been told I had 2% more energy than Mitch. And as we came up across the hill, he coasted at half track, sort of half defended, whilst I decided to stay flat. Went to the inside. As I've arrived at the barrier, he's carried on coming. It all happens very fast, as you know it does. And then the next thing you see is Mitch's <laughs> face. Yes, I did. I did see his face as I was hanging upside down. Yeah. Big one in the wall for Turvey. That's Oliver Turvey in the wall, and there's uh, another car in there, is there? Turn and this is up the start. Six. This is up the start line. Maybe someone was doing a practice start, and someone is John Eric Verne. So has Turvey gone into the back of Verne? Uh, yeah. And he's... Wow, look, there's a drive shaft. You can see the back. Oh, it's a big hit. So this is the rear view from Buemi. Oh, so, oh my goodness me. Oh, wow. Degrassi slowing. It's, true, yeah. it's race leader Lucas Degrassi slowing on the way up the hill in a big spin, and the two Mercedes collide. Oh, big crash, big crash, big crash. Yeah, this is not going to restart, man. Oh, he oh. hit. Um, so, what happened? Van Doren hit manhole cover that was raised on the track, lost control. Not his fault at all. Van Doren on pole, rolling alongside him, all five lights are on. We go green in Berlin, and Evans doesn't move, and he's been hit. Mitch Evans has been hit by Eduardo Mortara. Two title contenders out instantly. You could not have predicted it. You could not have foreseen it. Evans on the, he no, just, it goes. He just, it's almost yeah, like I, he stalls, but that's not a thing that you can do. And then it went, so the car jumped forward about 10 centimeters and then just stopped. So did something break? Evans out of the car, obviously, which is the best thing to see. Same with Eduardo. Mortara, just such a one of the loveliest guys in in Formula E. Honestly, such a lovely man. And look, he's going straight to Mitch Evans and saying, "Is he fine?" Yeah, he's an absolute class act. And this thing, he was second in the points coming into this race today, and he missed the race. These tires have probably got a couple of three millimeters of, of tread. When the puddles are deeper than the tread, that's when you get aquaplaning. I mean, you can't see it. Oh, Mortara! Mortara! Eduardo Mortara, the championship leader, has aquaplaned off. Oh, there's all, they're all off. They're all off. Every there's, one of them. There's four cars off, isn't there? Down at turn six. I saw an envision. Yes, Cassidy is in. I think Fries is going. Oh, dear, it's wet. It is wet. Evans right. having to take evasive action. Less than eight minutes plus a lap to go, and Cassidy is in there, and Van Dorn is in there as well.
Right, here's what happened. Whoa, Cassidy! Oh my goodness me! Yeah, I mean, just... Oh my goodness me! What? I mean, what on earth? That's a big shunt. They all just flew straight on. This is on this board is, with Cassidy. This is going to be big. Look at the water. Just hit a puddle. Massive oh, puddle. Oh. Here comes Rene Rast. The German in the McLaren goes fastest. The 1 minute 8. 0.844. And in the wall. Ooh. And Ooh. another one. Ooh, that's bad. Bird has collided with Eduardo Mortara. And the red flag is out. Right, here's what happened to Eduardo Mortara, first of all. He lost it basically uh, the same very way Very similar did. to Gwen, yeah. And so he's then in the barriers. And do we think Bird sort of sees him and then has to get out of him? Oh! That was going for so long, wasn't it? Here we go, on board with Mortara. Oh, lost it. Ah. Here we go, on board with Bird. Right, so let's see what happens. There's no yellow flags. The flag is out, that's down at turn six, so that's a fast part of the... It's Sam Bird! Sam Bird has crashed out! Oh, oh. no! That's absolutely huge! Sebastian Boemi. Boemi into the side of him. Red flag is immediately out on lap nine out of 25. And Sam Bird crashed out. Nowhere to go for Sebastian Boemi. We only caught the end of the incident. But that's a hugely fast part of the circuit to crash at as well. Let's have a look on board and see if we can piece together exactly what happened here, Alan. It's turn six where it all occurred. Yeah, the car's already dancing around, but as it does every single lap, uh, he's just wide. Sam's wide and he's over the crest. And as he spins round, it's there that he's moving around and the impact's behind. The people behind have got a very narrow area where they can maybe get it through. Or oh, we didn't see the first part of that, so we only saw the Maserati of Mortara going into him there, but we didn't see exactly what happened. No, Boemi tagged him. Yeah. And so here we are on board with Boemi. And Blind. Sam is just two cars up. He gets a little bit wide into the wall. And as you see, it's pretty blind coming through here. Yeah. And yeah, there's very little for him to do. The car's up, the wheel's up in there, and then it's a concertina effect from there because that then is like a pinball. It spins the car in and around. Oh. And there's Mortara. very heavy hit. Yeah, Mortara with absolutely nowhere to go in that one as well. On board here then with Jake Dennis down towards the first corner. We've got a yellow flag out, safety cars out, and that is the Nissan, and he's gone into what? the wall down at turn 16. That's quite sizable. That's going to take a minute to, uh, to fix. So let's see if we can piece together what happened here with Sasha Fenestras. So this is Dennis going into his attack mode and activating it, and then, oh, oh Fenestras. That brake failure. Oh, so they're like a technical Big related issue. But they, they have emergency brakes on these cars, though, don't they? Because there was yep. all of the talk at the start of the season about this. But something clearly has gone very wrong for Sasha Fenestras there. Oh, no. Oh, OK, right. That's what, that's it, was. what it was. Yeah, he climbed over the back of the car in front of him. Oh, that's a big impact. I don't like those straight-in impacts. That's where the hands device really protects the driver. Well, Tara's dropping down the order here as well, yeah. so clearly has had some kind of bother, unfortunately. Yellow flag is out at Turn 5. Double yellow at Turn 5, as a matter of fact, and also another yellow flag at Turn 4, so there'll be no overtaking into those two corners. Oh, oh that's why crash. into the barrier has gone one of the cars. It's kind of difficult to tell who that is. I, I think that I might think be Voltara. It, it is. Yeah, I, I picked it up it caught my eye car. earlier. When he went off alongside, I think we'll get Red the dark yellow maybe. and we'll get... Let's have a look. Yeah, look. look. It was ticked him alongside him, and watch this. He just understeers off by himself. He's onto the left-hand side of our TV screen. Now the camera will pick him up. Uh, it's hard to tell if the front wing had sort of folded underneath because he just seemed to go off in an, an accident on his own there. The car remained accelerated in, in, the, in the swim pool.